Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this uh, linear inequality. So to do that, uh, what I'm needing to do is uh, understand, we can see it's already in slope intercept form. So what I want to do is identify what exactly is my slope and what exactly is my y intercept. Well, looking at slope intercept form, you can see that slope represents the coefficient of the x, which in this case, we can say my slope is equal to 3 fourths, and my y intercept is equal to my constant, which is equal to 1. Now, understand that the slope represents a ratio between the change in the y and the x coordinates between any two points. And the y intercept represents a coordinate point, which is where the graph crosses the y axis. So to graph this, ooh, marker's getting bad. To graph this, I need to first graph my y intercept, which is at 1 comma 0, or I'm sorry, 0 comma 1. All right, and now to apply the slope, remember the slope represents the change in the y coordinates between any two points over the change in the x coordinates be any, between any two points, also a lot of times referred to as the rise over run. So to find my next point that lies on the line, I can use the slope. So if the change in the y coordinates is 3, that means to find the next point, I can go up 3. And then to change in the x coordinates to positive 4, I can go over 4 units. So I go up 3 over 4. And now I have found my next point. Now, before I go ahead and graph my line, also understand that negative 3 over negative 4 is equivalent to 3 over 4. So I could have gone down 3, left 4, just FYI. Um, the next thing is now to be able to identify, is my line going to be a part of my solution or not? Is it going to be dashed or solid? If it's dashed, it's not a part of the solution. If it's solid, it is. So to determine that, we look at our inequality symbol. And since my inequality symbol is greater than, not greater than or equal to, I know I'm going to be using a dashed line. If it was um, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you're going to have solid. So I'm just going to go ahead and graph my dashed line here. OK, so now the next step that I need to do is be able to identify, well, where am I going to shade? Am I going to shade below or above my, um, in, in my line? So to do that, the best thing to do is choose a test point. Because wherever your test point is going to be true, that means all the points below or above next around it are also going to be true. So the best test point to pick is 0, 0, as long as your line does not go through 0, 0. Because if it goes through 0, 0, then you're testing the line, which we already determined for this case our line is not a part of the solution. But our line does not go through 0, 0. So I'm going to test 0, 0 by plugging in y in for 0 and x in for 0. Therefore, I go ahead and solve. 0 is greater than 1, which is not true. So since this point is false, that means any point below here is also going to be false, and all the points above it are going to be true. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a linear inequality. Thanks.